What's up, guys? Open Ice Hits with scotty 2 Hockey. Let's talk Habs here with a pretty epic mail day video and two mystery packs that I got from CN2117 Habs fan, an excellent, uh, an excellent channel on YouTube that does breaks. He sells mystery packs on Instagram and eBay. Uh, he's done all kinds of crazy old products, and he's opened up mystery packs himself. He talks about the value of hockey cards. It's a great channel for people who are interested in hockey cards and people who love the hobby. So I'm excited to open up two of his uh, mystery packs to see what I got. I seen the Habs guy on his channel get two mystery packs. They were pretty solid. He got an awesome Zetterberg auto. So let's see what I got. I can't even remember what colors I bought. I'm pretty sure I bought a gold and a red or a black and a red. But uh, we'll see when I open the pack. So we'll still, it will be even kind of a surprise. And I got an awesome mail day card, a Habs PC card from my friend on Facebook who I've done many deals with now. Corey Page. He's awesome. Um, so let's see the card from Corey first. I'm really excited to get this card. I traded him a Capo Cap, uh, no, a Caden Primo Young Guns, a Nick Suzuki Young Guns, and twenty five dollars for this card. And I think we both got a pretty good deal. Oh, and he put the one touch under two. A Caden. Let's get this to focus. A Caden Primo Future Watch Auto, three sixty one of nine ninety nine. Beautiful auto with his number there next to it. Going to be an absolute stud. This is like a hundred dollar. Like you could sell this to a, for a hundred dollars to the right person, but in years to come, if he turns out to be like the next carry price, this could be an excellent investment card. But I'm never going to sell it anyways. It's going straight into the PC. So thank you very much, Corey. Love that card. Let's see if we can get it stand up in our background. I don't want it to slide on your slip. There you go, Caden Primo. Let's get the focus. Look at that beauty in the background, guys. And I found this guy. My daughter was playing with him earlier, and I was like, I think he might want to be in the background of my video. But let's get into the mystery packs. Oh, from CNN2117 Hockey Cards, it says thank you right there. And my daughter is here with me, guys. So uh, don't be surprised if you hear a child in the background or she's literally standing right next to me watching me do these cards. Now, what are you saying, my baby? Ooh, and he threw in a bonus card, too. Let's pick up the bonus card in the middle. Let's do a reveal. One second, okay? Uh, hang on, I gotta pause this video. You can't touch the scissors, my dolly. You can't touch the scissors. Sorry about that, guys. We had a brief red alert. My daughter got within a foot of the scissors. Scissors, and as a parent, you know, that stuff, it gotta be handled, so I had to hit pause. But let's get it. Let's see what he gave us as the bonus. He gave the, he gave the Habs guy a bonus, too. It was like a nice jersey card, a three-color jersey card. So let's see what he gave me as a bonus. Rookie Threads. Ooh, a nice player. Corey Perry. Beautiful. Awesome. Upper Deck Rookie Threads. Excellent little bonus. Congratulations. You have a Corey Perry. Is a game used? Uh, this card is certified. Born. It's a photo shoot card. It's a photo shoot card. Still very nice from Upper Deck Rookie Threads. So thank you very much, CN2117 Habs fan, for the bonus card. I had to focus that for you guys. Okay, so here are the packs. Oh, did I get? Did I buy two reds? Yeah, I bought two reds and a gold is what it was. I bought two reds and a gold. So let's see. The reds are called Risky Business. And inside of Risky Business, you get three hits, a jersey, an auto, or a one of one. A jersey auto patch or a one of one. And a one in every three of these, there's a sealed hockey pack. So I bought two, so I might have a chance at a pack. And this one kind of feels like it got something extra there in the front. One second. And once again, my daughter decided to take out the broom and make a big racket in the background. But she's got in her bedroom now. And then we have a more of a, I believe this is a more of an expensive pack. I think these ones here, the red ones, are $10 each. And the golds are... 15 or $18 each, something like that. It's between $10 and $18 for this guy's mystery packs. And from what I've seen, they're awesome. It's really professional looking. And in the gold, uh, it says we get two hits, a Jersey patch or auto, one Young Gun, which I would consider a hit as well, one serial numbered card, and one bonus card, a Young Gun, rookie, or insert, and one sealed hockey pack. So the Habs guy got... 2017-18 as his seal hockey pack. I know in some of these you can even get SPA. So let's see what I get. We're going to start off with Risky Business first. We're going to do two of the Risky Businesses. Very excited to open these. And I really do appreciate CN2117 Habs fan for making these packs. They're always fun for people in the hobby. Oh, and I did get a hockey card pack in my thing. What did I get? So the first thing we got, we had... A 2017-18 Series 1, so you could get a young gun out of that or something. 
a retail pack, but still a free bonus pack. Awesome. And our hits. We're going to get into our cards. Okay, he. I bought one of these, and he put it in two separate things. That's what it was. I knew I only bought one. So here's our first hit. It's a UD game jersey with Daniel Sedin. That's why he made it two packs, because one of them had the free hockey card pack in it. I, I was so confused at first. I was like, and that's, also, and that's an awesome card. UD game jersey of Daniel Sedin. I'm a Canucks fan. I'm a, a Habs and Canucks and Buffalo are my three favorite teams. Montreal above all, of course. But a UD game jersey of Daniel Sedin. I'll get these to focus a little bit better. What year is that? 2011, 2012. And that's one thing I love about CN2117 Habs fan. He does a lot of older stuff. He does a lot of Panini stuff too, which uh, people who love nostalgia definitely appreciate. And I'm one of those people who loves nostalgia. You having fun playing with your toys over there? Oh, and then we got our other hits. Okay, I'm going to cut the corner of this pack because I don't want to um, damage the cards and they're in there a little bit tight. Okay, I didn't... Let's go with her. Is this two cards or one? Okay, it is two cards. Okay, our next hit. Ooh, nice. Who is it? Brian Ryan Tesler. Max Domi's punching bag. Awesome. Uh, Crown. Is this Crown Royal? Panini Yak. Awesome. Crown Royal. 2011-2012. Ryan Kessler. That's awesome. That is a sweet auto, and that is a good player. Is It's a sticker, but wicked. Absolutely wicked. Love that. We'll review the inserts a little bit more afterwards. I'm just loving the surprise. And we got something thick here. Oh, gorgeous. A former Hab. This guy's a former Hab. And he was good in the playoffs when they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals one year. Devante smith Pelly and Corey Perry again. So we got a Corey Perry pack here for sure. Or Corey Perry as a bonus card. And we got a Corey Perry Panini Prime card. Um... 54 of 225, and it says duck on it, black and white, dual patches, or well, quad patches, really, awesome, awesome card, that was a, that was an amazing mystery pack, sorry Habs guy, but I got a feeling my red was a bit better than your red, but I, that's just my opinion, I think he might have got the Detroit Zetterberg auto out of the red though, so I can't really say it, oh, and I did get another pack, check this out guys, oh, and it's my favorite, SP Authentic. That I know it's 20 2016 17 too. An awesome year. 2016 17 SP Authentic. A thick pack. Austin Matthews on the patch. Let's on the pack. Let's see what we get. In my opinion, that pays for the pack itself. That I paid like $18 for this pack or something. Or uh, 18 bucks. This pretty much almost pays for the pack itself. This pack to me is worth $15. So amazing. CN2117 Habs fan. There is name, there's his name right there. Check out his channel. Your mystery packs are awesome, my friend. Awesome. Oh, and there's a uh there's what his channel logo looks like. He does these things. He does business cards and stuff too. And I'll also show you guys his channel, his uh, social medias and stuff. There's his channel name. There's his eBay name. So if you want to get some mystery packs yourself, he's on Instagram under the same name, on YouTube under the same name, and on Twitter under the same name. And I'll also link his channel as well because this guy hooked me up for sure. I'm very, very appreciative of it. He put it inside an SB Essential. Oh, the weasel. The weasel himself. I'll throw that in the binder for sure. I don't I don't hate Brad Marchand. Okay. <laughs> Who ooh, ooh ooh ooh. We got a Nick Antropoth. Elite. Uh what is this called again? It's just called Elite. Is it Don Roos? I believe it's no, it's Panini. And 45 of 99. So we have a numbered Nick Antropoth card. So that's our first hit besides that bonus pack of SB8. I was th I thought that was 1718 when I first took it out. Ooh, a young guns of a decent one, like not the best in the world, but a decent one of Oscar Sunquist. Good one to add to my collection right there. And I don't have a lot of 1617 young guns. Yeah. These cards are awesome, ain't they? Yeah. Okay, sit there and be good now. Oh, we're gonna save that. Okay, both of these are in sleeves, so we'll take this one out first. And this is 64th overall between the pipes, Jimmy Howard. Nice one for the goalie PC there. I pulled a Jack Campbell overtime auto recently for my goalie PC. Beautiful one for the for the um PC. I don't know if he's seen my channel and he knows I'm a big goalie guy and I'm a big Habs fan, but wow, we got a former Hab in Devante Smith Pelly. 
We got that uh, goalie one for the PC. And I'm so excited to open up 16, 17. And our very last card, our very last hit, is an auto uh, from the San Jose Sharks. An autograph of, it's a Skybox auto, of James Shepard. So I don't know a lot about this guy, but it's actually a very beautiful card. Very nice. That pack was absolutely amazing. The pack of 16, 17 itself. Hey, you let go of that dad. Let's put that in his background. Don't you be stealing my CN2117 Habs logo thing. I want to put that in my background. Maybe we can put it up on your bedpost when it goes in, okay? Okay, now we're just over 10 minutes into the video, so Dad wants to try and get this video done so I can do a recap for the folks. Did okay. you like the packs, though? Yeah. They were good, weren't they? Okay, we'll do 17, 18 first, and Dad will give you some base cards, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got a pack. Did we wow. get lucky and get a young gun? Did we, oh, we got a canvas. Is it a young gun? Oh, it's a Brandon Dubinsky, UD Canvas. Dad got a bit excited there and went right for it instead of saving it. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Jonathan Quick, Jakob Vortek, Brett Pesci, and Sergey Bobrovsky. And then we got Anthony Mantha, Brandon Suter, and Brent Seabrook. For those of you who like the base like my daughter does. Here's some cards for you, my dear. And the very last pack. Let's get some last pack mojo. Want to give Dad a rub? Want to give Dad a rub for Dad so we can get your luck to pay off? Okay. Good job, Carolyn. You do have the luck, don't you? You always got the luck. Okay, here we go. Okay, you magicked it. Let's see if your magic pays off. It's okay if it didn't. And we got a Sam Gagne 16, 16, 17 update card. That's okay. You don't hit something on every pack of SPA. But it was very fun to get it to open. And we got an Elias Lindholm, Elias Lindholm, and Eric Carlson. So awesome, awesome mystery packs. In total, I believe, with the shipping and all that, I paid like maybe 30 bucks for two of those mystery packs. Around about stash. And out of it, we got we got a pack of 1718 Upper Deck Retail. We got SPA 1617, amazing, SP Authentic, who expects to get that in like a freaking $18 mystery pack. Um, Brandon Dubinsky Canvas, we pulled out of 1718. Oscar Sundquist, Young Guns. A Nick Andropoff, uh, Don Roos Elite, numbered to 99. A Brad Marsan, SP Essentials. A autograph of James Shepard, Skybox, and his number there. A draft day uh, jersey card. Of Jimmy Howard, 64 overall pick. Carolyn, can you please get down? Dad's almost done his video. Please get down. The Anaheim Ducks Panini Prime, numbered 54 of 225. Corey Perry and Devante smith Pelly. One second, guys. Carolyn, please get off the table. I'm trying to finish my video. And then we have Ryan Kessler Otto, which was absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. This had a lot of nice Vancouver cards in it. We have a Daniel Sedin UD game jersey. And... A Corey Perry Rookie Threads, old school card of Corey Perry there with the old school Ducks jersey on. Beautiful card. And, of course, we got our card from my friend Corey Page, a Caden Primu Future Watch Auto, number 361 of 999. So, absolutely epic mail day, guys. I was pumped with those mystery packs. I'm pumped with this Future Watch. Corey even threw in a one touch. I can't complain with that. And, once again, if you want to pause it and look for yourself, there is CN2117 Habs fans, social medias, they're all under the same name, I am assuming. Awesome business card. There's his logo. There's a little sticker he gave me. I'm going to be sticking that to my daughter's headboard tonight. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I really, really appreciate it, CN2117 Habs fan. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit like, leave a comment, and of course, have a great day. This is Open Ice Hits with Scotty Duhaki. I'm sorry for my daughter making all the nuisance in the background, but anybody who has kids knows what it's like. Have a great day, folks. Over and out.